Well, this is also the day Hurricane Ida hit in 2021. The storm damaged or destroyed all of the high voltage transmission lines that provide our power, leaving more than a million people in the dark, many of them for weeks. Since then, Entergy New Orleans says it has prioritized reliability. Our Leah McNeil has more on those efforts. Down here in southeast Louisiana, August 29th means something. August 29th, 2005. Scars from that day are still healing, 19 years later. August 29th, 2021. There are new wounds from that day, three years ago, that still sting too. Were you without power? Oh yeah. <laughs> I was, I was that power. It's not fun. New Orleans Councilman Joe Giarusso remembers the days following Hurricane Ida well. I remember being in our attic and other places, and it's miserably hot upstairs. And my phone was absolutely blown up with, is my power back? Why is it my power back? When is my power coming back? Well, they say this is when the power is coming back. Do you know if the power is coming back? Giarusso says after Ida, collective anxiety spread as hours turned into weeks without power. About a month later, most power was restored with ongoing efforts by Energy New Orleans to make repairs and improve the grid. Fast forward three years later. When it comes to the grid hardening and resiliency, um, there, there's still a lot more that needs to be done. I think Ida demonstrated that that energy really hadn't done much since Katrina. Jesse George with the Alliance for Affordable Energy says the utility has dropped the ball many times over the last few years. The sort of work that they should have been doing for the past decades since Katrina, hardening poles and distribution infrastructure. Now they've come to the city council with this huge billion dollar package. The New Orleans City Council, who oversees the utility, did approve $100 million to harden the grid. It's a part of Operation Gridiron, a billion dollar investment that will be spread over 10 years. That energy says will upgrade thousands of poles, strengthen 650 miles of power lines, and cut outage times. George says the power company is moving in the right direction, but have a narrow approach to grid resilience. Resiliency. And we really need to be looking at a range of options, including on the customer side of the meter, like energy efficiency and distributed in, uh, renewable resources. He also says the council is moving in the right direction, but could do more. The problem is the standards are too low. We've been, I think, fairly aggressive, actually, in either fining or holding them accountable. Giarusso says it's a delicate balance. I still think some of the reliability issues need to be addressed and we're, we're waiting on energy to tell us more about what they're doing. And at the same time, what is that place where um, we're, we're, we're not looking to overwhelm residents, but at the same time, minimize the amount of time people are without power. A delicate balance to keep the power on. In New Orleans, Leah McNeil, WWL, Louisiana. In a statement, an Entergy New Orleans spokesperson said they are proud of the progress made thus far, and they've already invested millions in making the grid more reliable. But the scope of today's severe weather requires a comprehensive upgrade, and they're eager to get started. Our coverage of the storm anniversaries will continue tonight at 6 and 10, and you can see more of the stories on our website and free smartphone app and on WWL Plus on streaming services.